Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be moving on and creating this little project. It's by a company called Petite Properties and they are based in England, I think. Yes, they are. And so this is a little quarter scale project and we're doing this as part of the club and it's to go into the show for next October. So I've got plenty of time to pull this together, but I thought that I would make a start on it. So once I know that I've got all of the pieces in the kit, what I'm going to do is take them outside and prime them. I'm also going to use this plastic sheet. It is a brick pattern and I'm going to use this in a number of different parts. But first off, I'm just going to cover some of the brickwork that's going to be on the outside. You may have seen from the thumbnail, it is on the front little porch there. Um, and then just using some cereal box cardboard and I uh, have pr primed the floor black and then these are going to make up the floorboards. So I'm just going to glue these in strips and then once they are in place I'll take my craft knife and just cut off and trim around all the edges. I am trying to make a little bit of a gap in between and for this sort of scale these are actually really wide. Uh, quite chunky floorboards and I did that on purpose and so what I'm going to do now is just going to come in with my craft knife and just mark in where the floorboards type of kind of meet once I've had a coat of paint on it those will actually show up for the walls these have been primed in grey and then I'm just going to go through with my airbrush and just go through and um, paint up the walls. This was really super quick. It didn't take too long at all And I'm what I'm keen to do is just get a bit of a gradient from a sort of a dark shade all the way up to a light and With a tone of green so I'm really happy with how this has turned out and like I said this was really super quick and the reason why I used the airbrush and primed it, I primed it with a spray can, was uh, I was trying to reduce the amount of warping on the MDF panels because especially with the scale I really didn't want it to warp too much and then once that was pretty much dry I glued all of the walls and floor into place and that was another way that I could make sure that it's nice and secure and isn't going to warp. For the windows, these are actually made out of mat board, and so I've just glued the window frames into place, and then I'm just going to come back and glue up the actual windows themselves. So these come in a couple of different layers. So there's one layer on the inside, then there's the film, which has got a cross hatch pattern in it, and then there's a frame on the outside as well. And then uh, once that's all sort of dried, I can glue them into the project. And that's what it's starting to look like. So it's looking really good. Uh, it's a nice, really easy little project to follow. I'm really happy with that. And then this is the little mezzanine that's got, and I've just sort of painted up as well. And so that's kind of like the inside is looking like. I have weathered or aged the internal window frames just ever so slightly. And then these are the little brick pieces that I made earlier and they just fit onto the bottom of this trellis that fits on the outside of the front door. So these little fish scale shingles I created out of my Cricut and then I've just printed those off um, or actually no not printed them off but cut them out of just some black card stock out from my Cricut and I'm just going to work my way through and this is the little roof for the bay window and then I'm just going to lay these up and just stagger them so that it give, gives a sort of overlapping look and then I'm just going to finish off the very top piece. And you can sort of see there how it looks with the fish scales. So just to finish off the roof, I'm just going to add in these ridge details and then that is basically the roof finished. I have uh, gone a little bit paused on it because I've been doing this project in my own home. So I have been building out the fireplace and building in some bookshelves and so they also now need to be painted and I've got some work to do on the kitchen as well. So hence the reason why the kitchen bench is a little bit messy but let's uh, head through here 
and into the craft room so this is the little quarter scale house i still need to do the ceiling because it's just a little bit white and today i'm going to be working on the outside and i'm going to be doing a weatherboard i've already cut a whole lot of uh, lengths i actually used my cricut to cut these and this is just out of some white cardboard just some cereal box container and i'm just going to use those and start my way and glue them around on this side here though i do need to put a chimney so let's get in and install that now so over the past month or so i've been working on a number of different projects and they aren't necessarily to do with miniatures so i've been as you saw in the video i've been working on some projects around my house because i live on my own i'm the only one that is able to do these projects and I could leave them but I don't want to because I really want to put my own stamp on my own house my own apartment and also with a pipe band I've had some new tunes that comes around each season and so there's a bit of cognitive load so to speak been having to lean in and learn all of those new tunes so it does mean that I've been quite distracted over this past month with a number of different things and also I've started a new role in the same company that I work with so needless to say this video has taken a little bit longer to get done and also what it's also meant is I've kind of come to a stage in the project where I'm not really too sure what the next step is so I'm gonna need your help and one of the things I'm going to need some help with is the exterior. So I'm really keen to kind of um, get some feedback from you all and what sort of color scheme should I paint the outside. Also, I'm not really too sure what the story is of this little cottage. Uh, it is called Duck Cottage, so I'm sure that there's probably some sort of theme there, maybe a duck hunting lodge or cottage or so. I'm not sure. I'm just there's so many so many ideas rolling around it's really hard to pinpoint anything so keen to get what your thoughts are on that as well so drop a note in the comment section below I'd really appreciate all the help I can get on this project especially making some of those decisions So if you've liked this video, consider hitting that like button. It really does help uh, YouTube with its algorithm and be able to share it with a wider community. And of course, that all helps in the long run. And then if, while you're there, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel and see how this pr little project progresses. So uh, until next time, everyone, hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.